Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 19482 uh, Westland Court here in Oregon City. We're located at the front of the home, just off to the right of the front doorway. It's just beyond this tree here. We have a four inch ABS clean out. It's right in front of the, the bay window. And again, this is the windows that are off to the right of the front doorway, behind the bushes here. Four inch ABS clean out will be our point of access. I'm gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. I'm going to zero out the camera counter right here. And this is an actively lived in home. Uh, lots of water has been through here, so uh, there's no issues as far as uh, not being able to find a belly or anything like that. Here we go. All right, transitions here, 24 feet out from 4-inch ABS to 4-inch PVC pipe. Everything's looking good so far. It looks like we're going through a section of standing water here. There is uh, a pretty good sized bit of debris in front of the camera lens, so we'll have to take a second look at that area on the way back out. Uh, once we get the line all drained out, could be debris that's causing that water to stand there. All right, here at 64 feet, we have reached the main lateral out on uh, Westling. Let me get the water drained out let it, so we can uh, have a thorough look at it on the way back. I'm going to go ahead and start reeling back the camera. The vast majority of the water is now drained out of the line.
All right, I have uh, put a marking at either end of the belly. It starts here at about 35 feet, extends out to right around 48 feet. It's uh, about a 12-foot section of pipe here with about an inch of standing water. There is uh, debris building up. You can see on the, the side walls, especially when you get into the belly. Um, leading up to the belly, there is not a significant buildup of debris like you normally see when a belly is causing significant flow problems. Um, but there, nonetheless, there is some there is debris collecting. Um, so one of two options, uh, repairing it will obviously correct the belly permanently. You also have the option of doing hydrojetting um, on some sort of uh, basis. It's best to do a hydrojet and then rescope it in about a year to get a baseline for what kind of debris is building up in the line. Then you can get an idea of how often the line should be jetted out. Apart from that 12-foot uh, section there, the rest of the line is in good shape and flowing properly. Uh, I think that if, that, if the uh, debris is jetted out of the line and uh, you avoid things like grease, paper towels, flushable wipes, items that shouldn't go down the line, uh, most likely everything's going to get through there without issue. Uh, but it's when toilet paper, grease, those things tend to hang up in any sewer line, but uh, much more so when there's standing water. I'm going to go ahead and pull the camera all the way out of the line.